So it's about the De Morgan's theorem. There are two theorem, first theorem and a second theorem. This is the first theorem, what it states. So this theorem states that complement of two or more variable is equal to product of complement of individual variable. So if we consider there are two variables A and B, then we can write that as A plus B the whole bar. If it is A plus B the whole bar, then we can replace the plus by dot. So A plus B the whole bar is equal to A bar into B bar. So sum of two variable is equal to complement of means product of complement of individual variable. If we use three variable a, b and c then the formula comes as a plus b plus c the whole bar is equal to a bar into b bar into c bar and this is a logic diagram for that. If you consider two variable a and b then left side equation comes as a plus b the whole bar. So a and b are the input for the OR gate Output will be a plus b and to get a plus b the whole bar, there is a use of a not gate. So, output is a plus b the whole bar is equal to right side equation which is a bar into b bar. So, a bar is by using not gate and b bar is using another not gate. So, output is a bar and b bar and a bar into b bar. So, multiplication is by using and gate. So, output will be y is equal to a bar into b bar. And next truth table, we can prove the theorem by using the truth table A and B as the two variable. Since there are two variable, there will be four combination 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. And we can find A bar and B bar too. So A bar is a complement of A and B bar is a complement of B. So column comes as 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. And next we have to write for it left side equation which is a plus b the whole bar. So first finding what is a plus b which is 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1 and 1 plus 1 is 1 and a plus b the whole bar means complement of the previous column which is 1, 0, 0, 0 and this is the left side answer and right side is multiplying a bar and b bar. Output is 1, 0, 0, 0. So left side equation is equal to right side equation hence proved. And if it is three variable, formula comes as a plus b plus c the whole bar, which is equal to a bar into b bar into c bar. And truth table, since there are three variables, there will be eight combinations from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1. And uh, a bar, b bar and c bar and left side equation plus finding what is a plus b plus c. And next a plus b plus c the whole bar. And the last column for the right side equation, which is a bar into b bar into c bar. And uh, the answer comes same for uh, left side and right equation. So hence proved. So now we'll see the second theorem. Second theorem states that complement of product of two or more variable is equal to sum of complement of individual variable. Here dot gets replaced by plus. A into B the whole bar is A bar plus B bar. And if it is three variable, then A into B into C the whole bar is A bar plus B plus, sorry, A bar plus B bar plus C bar. And dot is replaced by plus here. So product of two or more variable is equal to complement of, in sum of complement of individual variables. And next is about the logic diagram. And if it is by using basic gates, then we can use AND and then NOT gate. And if it is a special function gates, universal gates, then we can draw it like this. So if A and B are the two variables for the first equation, and the output of NAND gate will be y equal to a b the whole bar. Or we can use one AND gate and one NOT gate. We will get the same a into b the whole bar. And right side equation which is a bar plus b bar. a is the input of first NOT gate and b is the input for the second NOT gate. And the out, uh, uh, adding one OR gate we get a bar plus b bar. So and next uh, true table a and b are the two inputs. A into B we are finding and next A into B the whole bar. So this is a left side equation and next finding what is A bar here. This is A bar and next is B bar. Finding what is A bar and B bar and finally what is A bar plus B bar. So A into B the whole bar answer is the same as A bar plus B bar. Hence proved. And this is A into B into C the whole bar, A bar plus B bar plus C bar, A, B, C, A bar, B bar, C bar and finding what is A into B into C and A into B into C the whole bar. And the last column is for the right hand equation, A bar plus B bar plus C bar.
And next is about the half adder. First, the definition. Half adder is nothing but adding two bits. So it is a combinational logic circuits. If we consider A and B are the two inputs, then sum and carry will be the two outputs. So this is a symbol. A and B are the two inputs for the half adder. And the sum result which is consists of sum as well as carry. And truth table, A and B are the two inputs. Since there are two inputs, four combinations, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Sum, when you do the sum, 0 plus 0 is 0 and there is no carry. When adding 0 and 1, sum is 1 and carry is 0. And when we add 1 and 0, sum is 1 and carry is 0. But when we add the last combination, 1 and 1, the sum is 0 and the carry is 1. So, if we check the output, sum, there are two high output and two low outputs. And in carry, there is only a single output which is high. So, writing the expression for sum and carry, so the sum which is high means we are going to write sum of products. So, for that we are considering the logic high. So, there are two logic high for the combination 0, 1 and 1, 0. If there is a variable uh, 0, then we have to write it in a complement form. So, a bar into b is the first term for the first combination. Next, a is 1. So, a into b bar. And carry, which is a 1 here for the combination a and b. So, a into b is the expression for the carry. Output expression for sum and carry comes as a bar into b plus a into b bar. And carry is a into b. And the logic diagram by using the basic gates or logic gates. If it is logic gates, then for the first expression, we can use XR gate, which is A bar B plus AB bar is equal to AXRB. So, A and B are the two input variables. For the XR gate, the output comes as A bar B plus AB bar. And for the same input variable, we can add one AND gate to get the carry, which is A into B. This is by using logic gates. Even we can use the basic gates for sum where the first term is a bar into b and second term is a into b bar. So a bar is by using a not gate and b is another input of and gate. So the output comes as a bar into b. And second term which is a and then b bar and adding one and gate we get a into b bar. So this is the first term and this is the second term. And adding these two terms by using or gate which is a bar b plus a, B bar. So, this is a logic diagram by using basic gates. The next is carry. Since it is a simple expression A into B, we can use a single AND gate. A and B are the input and output comes as A into B. This is a half adder. And next is full adder. Full adder is also a combination logic circuit but adding three bits. If you consider A, B and C as the input for the full adder, the output comes as sum and a carry. A, B, C are the input and this is a two table and three inputs therefore eight combination from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, so and so, 1 and 1 and when we add these three bits we get sum and carry. So if all 0 then sum is 0 and carry is 0, 0 plus 0 plus 1. If there is a single 1 when adding then sum will be 1 and carry is 0. Even here there is a single 1. And here there are two ones. So when we add two ones, you will get sum as zero and carry as one. And here it is single one, so sum as one. Here it is two ones, so carry is one. And here it is two ones, so carry is one. But here we have all the input as one. So when we add three ones, we'll get sum one as well as carry as one. So this is a true table. And if we check the sum and carry output, there are high outputs as well as low. So, four high outputs and four low outputs in sum. So, we can write the expression by considering the high output. First high output for the combination A0, B0 and C. So, A bar, B bar, C. And second one is for 0, 1, 0. Means A bar, B, C bar. And third one is for A which is 1 and B and C are 0. So, A, B bar, C bar. The last one for A, B, C all as one. So, A into B into C. And next is about the carry where the four outputs are high here. So, first output 1 for the combination A as 0 and B as 1 and C as 1. 
So A bar B C. And second is A B bar C. And the third one is A B C bar. And the fourth one is A B C. So the expression comes like this for sum and a carry. We can simplify this expression because the number of gates which we require for this two expressions are uh, more. So the circuit will be complex. So we can simplify it and we can um, get sum and a carry expressions. So output expression for sum and carry. And this is a diagram if we use a non-simplified expression sum and carry by using basic gates. And when we simplify the sum expression by using the Boolean algebra, so sum which is a bar b bar c and a bar b c bar and a b bar c bar and a b c, if we simplify this by taking c as common from first and last, within the bracket we get here a bar b bar and here it is a b, so a b. And next when we get c bar as common from the second and third, it is a b bar plus a bar b. So here we can take x nor combination which is a x r b the whole bar plus c bar if we take then here we get the x r combination. And this step is in the form of a b bar plus a bar b. So what is that? It is a x r b means a x r b x r c. Why we are taking the x r combination is if you consider the half adder expression we got a bar b plus a b bar which is a x r b in essence sum is the x r function of two inputs so logic is sum is the x r function of two inputs carry is a product of two inputs so in the same way we are taking for a full adder sum is the x r function of three inputs we have to get as a x r b x r c carry is a product of three inputs means we have to get as a b plus b c plus AC. So, simplification of sum is to get AXR, BXR, C, we are taking C as common here and C bar as common. So, here we get the X naught function, here it is XR function. X naught is nothing but complement of XR. So, this is A, B bar plus A bar B. So, it is AXR, B combination, AXR, BXR, C. And if we simplify the carry, here we don't want any XR function. So, we will try to take two variables as common. So, carry is equal to ABC plus AB bar C plus ABC bar plus A bar BC. And uh, taken uh, AC as common from the first two. So, B plus B bar and this I am writing as it is. And here AC, B plus B bar is 1. So, AC into 1 is AC. And this two term as it is. And here I am taking A as common from the first two term. So, C plus BC bar. C plus B C bar formula is C plus B plus A bar B C and multiplying with the bracket term A C plus A B plus A bar B C and uh, here taking B as common. So when we take B as uh, common, we will get A plus A bar C. So A plus A bar C is nothing but A plus C which is A B plus B C. So finally, we are getting AC plus AB plus BC in essence, the combination of two two inputs, product of two inputs, which is inputs are ABC. Here we are getting AB plus BC plus AC. So if we draw the logic diagram for this expression carry, we need only uh, a less number of uh, gates, uh, minimum, uh, maximum three AND gates and two OR gates are needed. There is no use of OR uh, NOT gate. So, the sim logic diagram will be simple when we compare the previous expression. And here we can use a logic gate which is x or 3 input xr or we can use two xr functions for a, b and b, c.